local weather authority forecast is brought to you by Dorset Ford. 0% for 72 months at Dorset Ford, Marshall, Illinois. Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. We have clear to mostly clear skies around the valley. So look at the Graper Post Buildings Weather Cam northeast over downtown. No issues during the overnight school day forecast. A cool start, but not too bad for this time of year. Remember, the average low is 19, 26 at 7 a.m. there in Terre Haute. I'll be under mostly clear skies. Just a hint of a wind chill. Here's what we're tracking on the weather headlines. Sunshine days. A few of them to start the week. Some mild temperatures as well. Then rain likely late week. Overall, could be a soaking week late, but a very mild week. One day where we'll be seasonal. Right now, clear in Terre Haute, 39. Feels like 32 with that west wind at 12. Two points at 30. Pressure's rising in bed from 30, 12. Low temps, 27 Paris, 25 Mattoon, Effingham, 25 Terre Haute, 28 there at Washington. Now, high temps today hit the 50 mark in a lot of spots. 50 Washington, 53 Vincennes, Terre Haute at 49, only 52. Temps north to south, 36 in Paris. Go over to Bloomington, 39. Vincennes, 41. Newton checks in at 39 along with Effingham. Casey a little cooler at 36. The winds out of the west tonight, 5 to at times 20 miles an hour. These are wind speed averages from the airport. 12 Terre Haute, 16 there at Paris, 12 at Mattoon. So gives us a hint of a wind chill. Feels a few degrees cooler than that air temp. So if you have the late night drive, keep that in mind. Not frosty cold, though. Metro view, mostly clear. Looks like a good call for tonight. High pressure is trying to control our weather, and we'll do so for the next few days anyway. The big change is going to come late in the week. Right now, not a lot going on out there. It's been fairly quiet. Some good snows up through the northeast, but as you can see, the bulk of the country, under clear skies to mostly clear skies. Take a closer look there. Some cloudiness diving off to the southeast around the St. Louis area. That's it. I think we stay mostly clear tonight. Maybe a few more clouds off to our southwest counties in future cast. Just a question of cloud cover. I think we do see more clouds tomorrow as we get into the daylight hour, so we'll call it a partly cloudy day. And then as far as precipitation goes, nothing out there Tuesday or as we go into Wednesday either. That's going to hold off until late in the week. So if you have anything to do outdoors, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday looks okay. Thursday morning, maybe. Seven-day precip right now. Put everything in motion. Dry Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then we get into Thursday. We'll start to see this system work its way up. It will roll on through Friday into Saturday. As it exits Saturday, models put a little maybe snow mix in there. I don't think it's going to be an issue because the temps are going to be fairly mild. But do look for rain likely Thursday, Friday into Saturday. We'll get breaks in it. Could be a soaking three days. Now, as far as temps go, the real cold air, that gray and purple shading, that stays trapped in Canada for the time being. Eventually, though, we're going to tap that cold air as we get into the later portions of January into February. Now, tonight, 26, a cool night, but above normal. Mostly clear winds at times will pick up and gust to 20. She head back to work or school tomorrow, 43, partly cloudy, just a light breeze. Pretty nice day. I'm looking ahead on the extended forecast. Breezy Tuesday, a cooler 38 there on Wednesday. That's close to normal for this time of year, but lots of sunshine to enjoy then. The rain comes in. Likely we'll see that rain at times Thursday, Friday, into Saturday. Then things start to improve. Could hit 60 there on Friday. Those nighttime lows on Friday and Saturday of 48 and 43. Give you an idea of how mild it is. Those temperatures are warmer than the average daytime high this time of year. Because averages are 36 and 19. We do cool off a little bit going into the weekend, but again, not frosty cold.